Welcome everybody. My video tutorial today is going to be about how to make the new Windows PowerShell look a lot nicer and a lot more modern. First of, first of all, what I would like you to do is to op open the Microsoft Store and make sure you download and install the new Windows Terminal and uh, the new Windows PowerShell. Okay, so what I like most about the new Windows Terminal is that uh, you can run different shells in different windows. And if you go to settings, you can have different settings for your different shells. And if you click defaults, and if you click appearance, you'll be able to change the, the color scheme, the font face, the font size. If you scroll down a bit, you can uh, set the acrylic on, which will make the background of your terminal blurred and transparent. And then make sure you click Save. Not only can you change these settings, but you can also change the order of this drop-down list. For example, let's make out you would like to put PowerShell first. In that case, open this uh, JSON file. And uh, you can uh, find your default settings. As you can see, we have uh, set the font for Cascadia code, we have increased the font size a little bit, we have set the acrylic on, and here you can find this uh, list module, and here you can change the order of the drop-down drop list, as I said before, by simply put PowerShell, Windows Terminal PowerShell Call at the top of the list. You can also hide the shells you don't really use by changing the hidden property, the value of the hidden property from false to true. If you scroll further down, you can find this uh, Schemes module. And uh, you can also set the default scheme in the default section in this defaults module. If you type in uh, color scheme, and simply type the name of the color scheme. You can also download lots and lots of color schemes uh, from the internet. For example, I have uh, downloaded, I have found this, uh, this uh, retro color scheme, so I'm going to copy and paste and paste it here in this uh, scheme section make sure you you put a comma at the end of the module and now the name of this color scheme is retro as you can see so simply 
go for further up, scroll further up, and change Campbell to Retro, and then save. Now if you look at this uh, drop-down list, you only have PowerShell, which is the first, Command Prompt, and Ubuntu. So Windows PowerShell and Azure Cloud Shell will not appear in the list anymore. Because, you, you, you know, we have changed the value of their hidden properties from false to true in this JSON file. Okay, so if you would like to further modernize and customize your Windows Terminal, your Windows PowerShell, please uh, visit this site. I'm going to put these links in the description below, so you can simply copy and paste these. So let's visit this site. And here, if you scroll down a bit, you can find this one, Cascadia Cove Nerd Font. So, make sure you download this. Open. Uh, let's uh, put it on the left. And let's open uh, Windows Fonts. You can find it here, Windows Fonts. Put it in the, on the right and simply copy these fonts, drag and drop them here. I think uh, we should uh, extract first. Extract all. Extract. Now let's copy, drag and drop, and Windows is going to install these new fonts. Okay. Now you can close these windows, and let's go back to the terminal. And now you can change, you can change the font. I think we have to reload the terminal. You see we have this uh, acrylic effect now and the, re uh, the retro uh, color scheme. Now let's see defaults, appearance and uh, yes. So now let's uh, make sure you change the font uh, and uh, choose Cascadia Cove and F and hit save. Okay. The next step is uh, visit this site or my posh dot dev slash docs slash windows and uh, here you can find this winget installation commandlet so simply copy this command I'm going to put all these in the in the description below, so don't worry. Let's open a new PowerShell. Just hit enter. Uh, 
and it is going to install all my posh. Let's wait for the installation to complete. Okay. Installation was successful, it's, it says. So, successfully installed. Okay, very good. Now, the next step is uh, you have to create a so-called PowerShell profile. You should put it in your default uh, documents folder. So, just click documents and make sure you make a new folder called PowerShell. And here, create a new text file and rename the file together, together with the extension. It's very important to rename it together with the extension. Uh, this, is, this is going to be the name and the, and the extension of this new text file. So let's uh, rename. it. Don't hesitate to hit yes. And now we have this uh, new PowerShell profile uh, text file. Okay. And now if you go back to your PowerShell and type uh, notepad dollar profile, it is going to open this uh, PowerShell profile text file and uh, you have to copy and paste if you scroll down a bit, you will find somewhere here, yes, PowerShell. Just copy and paste this commandlet. Actually, this is not a commandlet, this is a, a setting. Okay, so copy and paste, make sure you save it. Now if you go back to uh, the Windows Terminal and open a new PowerShell, you can find this uh, nice little magic happening, okay? But you have to configure it because it is not yet completed. So make sure you visit and this this is actually a JSON file which you can find in this location. So this is the uh, this is the exact path. Okay? So if you copy and paste this here You can find lots and lots of JSON files in this themes folder. So we're going to copy another uh, another JSON file which you can download from this site. Download 
download the zip file and then we are going to copy it to this uh, themes folder okay so this is the uh, so you, you you have to copy this oh my posh v3-v2 json file and then you have to change the uh, PowerShell profile so notepad dollar sign profile hit enter and here you have to change make sure you give the exact the exact path so this is the exact path of that new oh my posh json file so simply copy and replace this here then save it so this is the exact content of our new PowerShell profile text file okay now if you open a new PowerShell you are going to see the result look at that so let's uh, for example let's change the directory Now you can see that we are in doc in the documents folder it also indicates at the end that something uh, went wrong so the last command you just entered is not recognized as the name of the commandlet okay let's go back you can also set the uh, starting directory here in the general section So as you can see, the, the starting directory is my user profile, okay? And last but not least, I would like to show you another thing, okay? So now copy and paste this module and install some let's install some terminal icons and last but not least let's import import these new terminal icons and now if you now let's change directory for the documents folder and let's type in dear 